Hello everybody, Assalamu alaikum. With Ramadan just a day away, I am thrilled to share a lineup of educational and enjoyable activities for kids during the sacred month. Additionally, I can't wait to showcase the simple Ramadan decor that I created for the kids. Stick around to discover some amazing ideas that will make this Ramadan special for your young ones. I hope this video inspires you. So let's get started. In the first segment of the video, I'll be showcasing the array of Ramadan games and activities that I've prepared for the kids. To begin with, I gathered all my stationery, small accessories, craft papers, scissors and laid them out on the table. The first project that I worked on is the Ramadan pop-up mosque card. To streamline the process, I've organized all the necessary materials for this card into one convenient kit, including the craft papers. Each kit is uh, pre-folded, ready to make four cards. I drew and cut out the dome shape and the minar or the pillar of the mosque. The kids can easily assemble these pieces to create their own pop-up card. It's a very uh, delightful and engaging activity. Uh, mainly uh, made to keep the kids busy for a day. Let's see the other activities. I've gathered these uh, engaging activity ideas for kids from a wonderful website uh, which I found through Pinterest. Many of the ideas featured here come from that specific page and you can find the link in my uh, video description for that uh, particular page. Do open that page for more inspiring ideas. They have lots of them. The next activity I've prepared is a crescent moon art kit. On colored paper, I drew a crescent moon using a lid as a template. I then cut various bits and pieces of different colored papers. In addition, I've included pom-poms in the kit too. The kids can decorate the crescent moon with these paper pieces and pom-poms. Uh, this would be a fun activity, especially for Aisha because she really likes doing these kind of things. Inshallah. The next activity is the Ramadan Moon Tracker featuring a printout displaying different moon faces. Kids can mark each day's moon appearance from almost nil on day one to a crescent on day three. Uh, so this helps them observe and understand the changing faces of the moon. I used stock card paper to enhance the appearance of the moon tracker. Uh, for an interactive touch, consider adding an arrow resembling clock hands, allowing kids to move it daily. Uh, I didn't have it, so I kept it plain. But if you have an arrow, that could enhance the interactive experience. For our next activity, we have the Ramadan Lanterns. It's a simple yet engaging project. I drew a lantern shape on a sturdy stock card paper and in the kit, I included stickers and some decorative items and a rope. Uh, kids can cut out the lantern shape and add stickers, decorate it, thread the rope through and hang it wherever they like. It's a fun and creative way to bring a festive touch to Ramadan. The next exciting project is the DIY tasbih or wicker counter. I've included beads and yarn in the kits, allowing kids to string the beads through the yarn, creating their own tasbih. I'll even guide them on making the tassel to tie at the end, inshallah. This personalized tasbih can serve as their own wicker counter and they can use it uh, to do wicker whenever they like. Inshallah, it will be a wonderful experience for them. To add a touch of simplicity and fun, I've included the easiest DIY lantern activity for the kids. Uh, this is also called the Chinese lanterns. You can find numerous tutorials online for guidance. In the kit, I've placed card papers inside, allowing the kids to easily cut and craft their own lanterns. For an engaging and educational twist, I've printed Ramadan themed quizzes. They come with questions and answers at the back. I plan to distribute these to the kids one day and inshallah, 
Once they learn it, I'll conduct a quiz the next day with prizes. If you are interested in using these resources, you can find the link to all of them in the video description. Adding more variety, I've printed Islamic themed crosswords, I spy templates and other crossword puzzles along with some fun facts about Ramadan. I then printed some daily du'as. Uh, while many are familiar to Hamad, most of these are new for Aisha. Inshallah, by the end of Ramadan, my intention is for her to learn these applications, inshallah. Incorporating the beauty of hadith, I've printed out 30 hadith, one for each day of Ramadan. I found these lovely resources on a website that offers free printables. After cutting and rolling each hadith, I used a golden hair accessory to seal them elegantly. Look how pretty it looks. I then place all of them in a jar and the kids can pick one hadith each day throughout the 30 days of Ramadan, inshallah. It adds a touch of wisdom and reflection to their daily routine. Since I had this Ramadan cookie cutters, I thought one day can be for baking Ramadan cookies. Reflecting on the blessings of this Ramadan, it's disheartening to think about the challenges faced by our brothers and sisters in Palestine. With heavy hearts, we incorporate a special Palestine activity including coloring pages. As we enjoy our Ramadan, let's spare a moment to make a heartfelt dua for the people of Palestine throughout the month of Ramadan. And uh, let's also encourage our children to do that. I really cannot imagine how Ramadan there would be. There will be lots of children observing this month of Ramadan without their parents. There will be lots of parents without their children. Lots of lonely um, iftars in Palestine. But uh, they wouldn't be even having food to break their fast because they all are starving to death they're not having food to eat so inshallah let's pray a lot for them and really hope that their difficulties come to an end and may they find peace and relief soon and may palestine be free very soon inshallah this year i didn't want to do too much of ramadan decor but since Aisha has been waiting for Ramadan this entire year, she uh, had fond memories from last year. So I thought I'll do a minimal uh, decor for her. And uh, so I opted for a simple setup using old Ramadan decor items and a few new things that I bought, which I showed in my recent vlogs. I had a canopy, which I bought a few months back. I used that to make a corner for yeah. the kids a special area for them to recite Quran or read their Islamic or, or Ramadan themed storybooks. This is mainly intended for uh, making this Ramadan memorable for the kids inshallah. So in the coming clips you can see uh, the setup that I did. Hope you enjoy it.
That's all in this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, please do like, comment and subscribe to my channel. Share this video with your family and friends. Thank you so much for watching and Ramadan Kareem to everybody.